coastal cooking trip around Britain. Everywhere we dock, we find great local food and interesting people to share it with. Today, we have an early start from Littlehampton. We're sailing 20 miles east to Brighton in Sussex. The winds set fair and we're making good time. Brighton's most famous landmarks are the Royal Pavilion, built for the Prince Regent, and the Palace Pier, now a fairground. We reach the marina and it's huge, the biggest we've seen so far on this trip and right in the centre of town. Sailing's hungry work, but our galley's bare. We need to find provisions for breakfast. We moor up and head off to explore. So, how many times have you been to Brighton before? That's my first time to Brighton. <laughs> quite looking forward to seeing what it's about. It's quite interesting because you can see this is brand new, this area. Yeah, you? this is like a man-made marina, isn't it? Yeah. But if you come go to the centre itself, there's some nice old lanes and things. Well, it's meant to be very cosmopolitan and have a lot of sort of uh, quite exotic tastes, isn't it? So I'm guessing we're going to find some good food. Yeah, do not really fancy a decent cup of coffee. We head inland a few miles to Lindfield, on the edge of the South Downs, to find World Coffee. Oh, coffee! Way! <laughs> Freshly roast! Roasted here. Hello! Hi. This is owned by Jackie, who bought out the business from the founder. He happened to be her brother-in-law. She buys raw coffee beans worldwide. Brazil, Kenya, Indonesia, Colombia, Costa Rica, El Salvador, all the great coffee-growing regions then roasts and blends on site. She shows us how to load the roaster. The intense dry heat produces chemical reactions which change and improve the flavour. For a darker roast, pure carbon's created. The perfect roast maximises the natural character of each type of coffee. Are there many people like you in Britain doing this with um, I think there are more. I mean, this is sort of, you know how microbreweries yeah, spring up all over the place? I think there is now a trend that this is ha going to happen with coffee. What is it? I mean, micro cafeteers or cafe what, what Well, I think it's the micro is, is the roaster, yeah. you know. I remember hearing sort of a, a, uh, a coffee legend. They had goats eating coffee. Yeah. How coffee was discovered, the sort of legend, is yeah. that a goat herd in Ethiopia noticed that his goats, when they went near a particular bush that had little red berries oh, on yeah. it, um, became very lively after yeah. they had eaten those berries. He then took some of these berries to a local monastery yeah. and they said, oh, don't be so ridiculous, and threw them in the fire. Yeah. And then, of course, the, the story is that this beautiful aroma yeah. started, you know... And, I mean, is that part of why you work with coffee? Because it's just so good. We only roast to order, so yeah. the coffee that people are getting is really fresh. It's good quality anyway. We know what we're doing. Just check how it's yeah. doing so I can decide whether to get it out and or not. what are you looking for? OK, well, I'm looking at colour. I'd be looking at the split there to see if there was any chaff left in there. Yeah. Um, also, a sort of gloss. You can see they're slightly shiny. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cooler and the blades to rotate because what, when the coffee comes out very quickly, when I open the, the roaster, yeah. we don't want it to continue cooking in yeah, the yeah. heat. Yeah. So now this is cold air blowing into the pan Whoa! As soon as it's cool, we'll take some and grind it. When this gets cool, you can literally grind it and make us coffee. Yeah, I will, yeah, yeah. I'm liking that idea. I'm a bit of a coffee addict. This is very welcome. This is freshly blended coffee, isn't it? <laughs> How do you taste it? This, this, is, this is a Colombian bean. This is a Colombia Medellin Excelso, a uh, very good bean. Colombia's uh, what? very... <laughs> Say that again. Medellin Excelso. It's a very well-balanced coffee. It hasn't got any outstanding characteristic that might put you off. It's no. not highly acidic. Some coffees mm. are, some people like that. You could drink a lot of this. This is almost on the go. You, you should yeah. just like, yeah. have yeah. a nice yeah. mug of it. And... Yeah. Hmm. But when it comes to the, the shops now, every high street's got several coffee shops yes, on it, yeah. yeah? Where's your market? We are supplying wholesale to restaurants, hotels, coffee shops, anyone really who's serving coffee and who wants to serve really good coffee. Can we take some back to the boat? Absolutely, yeah. Would you fancy coming to join us and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cook for you on the boat? Yes, yeah, yeah, really lovely, nice. yeah. We'll try and somehow work coffee into the menu, but it may just end up being... We'll just drink all morning. Have a coffee. <laughs> we'll, you'll see us, we'll be wired by the time you come around for lunch. It's very easy mm. to drink, that's the difficulty. Insomnia, do you suffer from it? That's our first guest for lunch sorted, and we can definitely do a pudding with fresh ground coffee. But we still don't have a main course or a starter. What happened to breakfast? Now it's back to the boat. We're returning to the Amelie Rose with a cunning plan. We want to make an ingenious contraption, and what better way to honour Jackie's coffee 
It's a wind-powered coffee grinder. We've actually got the grinder from hell, <laughs> yeah, but why would we wish to grind this very heavy handle when it's blowing a hooli? We're going to rely on the power of the wind to actually grind the coffee for us. There is a bit of a flaw in this. Actually, making this wind-powered coffee grinder is damn sight harder than just grinding the coffee at this precise moment. <laughs> Having said that, from here on in, all we have to do is put it up, let the wind take it around. All we've done is design our four very simple blades. We're starting off with four because we were going to put on eight, but it is going to be a force eight this afternoon, so there's no way we're risking that. I think it was an omen. <laughs> The plan is to cut wooden sails like a windmill and then rig them to the grinder with thin broom handles. We're nearly ready to assemble and the wind is getting stronger and stronger. I think our biggest issue is going to be holding this thing upright. <laughs> our new windmill blades are screwed onto the coffee grinder handle. We're nearly ready for it. I can feel my coffee getting closer. Finally, the whole contraption is hoisted up on a mast to catch the wind. Coffee beans in here. Very not, not really very elegant. OK, coffee beans shut. Coffee beans are in. <laughs> you better believe it. Are you ready to come up, Sam? Here we go. The moment of truth. Will it work? Oh, oh God. Come on, hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> We're making coffee. Okay. It's gone mad. Exceeded expectation, you could say. This is the most scary cup of coffee we're ever going to have. Should we lower it down, see what's happened? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, I think we should lower it down. We're coming out of the wind, coming out of the wind. And then bring it down. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? Right, OK, let's, let's check our coffee. Do... It's the, there's a drawer that falls out, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> coffee! We're ready for our coffee now. It works, but actually, it's really quite scary. It is quite scary. Is that enough? Oh, don't oh, know. Let's, okay. let's make some more. Let's make, make more. a bit more. All right. Oh, God. It's a... There are probably safer ways to make coffee, but nature's doing it for us. Yeah, this is going to be quite a satisfying cuffer, I think. Flush with success, we decide to prepare our starter for tomorrow. On our lunch menu today are chicken kebabs, served with the jellies we made with Julian, my rose tattoo and James's dry martini extravaganza. A stonking fish pie and Gaelic coffee, which we'll make just before serving. Our guests are due any minute and we're ready just in time. And there they are, Jackie, our coffee queen, Mark of the halloumi cheese, gelato Seb, and Julian of the jellies. You ready to step onto the blue? Yeah, the one step up and over. First up are the spicy chicken kebabs, with our Julian inspired jellies as a relish on the side. There we go. Thank you. Cheers. This is a competitive dish, actually. So my jelly is like an apple martini. Mine's got rose and rose petals, because I'm a little flower. But I think they're quite nice mixed together, actually. Well, like, <laughs> as you say. The, the sort of spice blend with rose is kind of very Moroccan, Middle Eastern blend, and rose, rose is where my money's at. I think the one that goes with the dish best is the rose. Personal choice. I like James's. I love that zesty that taste of lime. That's a bit of a draw, so, isn't it? You know, yeah, that, 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 that's that's right. I'm not going to argue so with that. Yeah. Fish pie. This is a real favourite. Traditional fish pie served with green veg. It's a heaven sent combination. We're making Gaelic coffee, the number one ingredient. Wind power ground coffee, and this is good quality coffee. It's been roasted, we, we saw that being done. I've got to tell you, I'm really glad that this wind is like this, because otherwise I'm not quite sure if we're going to grind it. Three of those big boys, and then one because I like coffee. Not boiling, but hot. And it's got to have Irish whiskey. And then also, the key thing is to put sugar in it, just so that the cream floats, and that's the secret. Yeah. 
Look at that lovely coffee. I hope Jackie likes what we've done with her coffee. Or will she think it's an abomination? Yeah, Have we ruined your coffee? That's no, good. No, no, it's good. It's delicious. And there is a hint of coffee there, in spite of the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm I thought not be quite... complaining. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Good things come oh, to those okay. who grind yeah. using wind power. <laughs> Well, I've enjoyed Brighton a lot, but it's time to raise anchor and head east. We need a taste of the open sea, then a new set of harbour lights to welcome us in on the next leg of our coastal cooking adventure. You can watch Dick and James's exclusive behind-the-scenes video diaries of their journey around the coast. Just go to icv.com/food.